Even though fitness is really popular and everyone is really getting involved, the changes as you see that, you know, the gentrification is all these new buildings and fancy gyms going up. They're not for the locals. They're for the people who live in those buildings. The everyday person who's been here for 15, 20 years cannot go into those places and use the gym. Yeah, I'm Camille. I've been personal training for over 20 years now. My specialty is um, all forms of resistance training, which includes your own body weight, cable, free weights, and barbell weights. Before the pandemic happened, I wanted to open up a studio for the community that was a more private atmosphere where it's very controlled to help underserved community in the fitness industry. And that's usually women of color, uh, women of the ages between 35 and older, and the LGBT community. And they're the ones who can really most benefit because there are plenty of studies that show how resistance training help women as they get older with osteoporosis, type 2 diabetes, not only to lose weight, but to maintain it and keep it off. Um, and this is a practice you want to do for life. For the LGBT community, there's a lot of intimidation, uh, especially if it's a, a lesbian woman who wants to work out in the weight room. There's a harassment, you know, there's all that, a lot of harassment going on. I want them to feel safe. That's a good word, safe. I think that's a word that needs to be thrown around a little bit more. Because when you're dealing with someone's body, it's so personal, you know, they, we, that's why we do all the things that we do anyway, right? They're working moms, they're moms, they're students, they're busy, they have no time to travel to the city or downtown Brooklyn. If something in walking distance right in the neighborhood, not too big, would be perfect. And so I plan to locate right here in the neighborhood.